Hi, second grade families. I'm going to show you how you can get to the Accelerated Reader website where students can take quizzes on books that they've been reading. A lot of our kids are doing this at school using books from our classrooms, but they also can do this with library books at home or really any books that you have around. So I'm starting out on the Stuartville Public School website, ssd.k12.mn.us, and from here we're going to go up to Schools and click on Bonner Elementary School. That will open up another page, and we are going to look for the Academics tab, going down to second grade and clicking on Mr. Severson. On Mr. Severson's Google page, he has a lot of different options for the students to use for reading games, math games, and there's tabs up at the top that we use in the classroom a lot. But for today, we're going to click on Accelerated Reader. And here it explains that Accelerated Reader is used to show the comprehension of the students after they read the book. They're able to earn points from taking books. Um, and so we're going to click on this link here. And for most of our students, their login information, they have that already. But it's usually the first letter of your first name and then four letters of your last name and your password is your lunch number. So I'm going to get logged in here using a student's information. Once you get to this page, we are going to click on Accelerated Reader again. And up at the top, the search bar is really nice. You can type in the title of a book. So if you know that you've been reading The Cat in the Hat, you can type that in and search. It will show you the cat in the hat. It will show you the level of that book. So this is a 2.1 level, so a good book for the start of second grade. It shows how many points that book is worth. And then it gives you op options to take the quiz. There is also a quiz number that's listed with each book. And at school, there are numbers written inside the cover of the books in our classrooms. And that's the same with the library books that are checked out from Bonner. So if I know the quiz number, I can type that in rather than the book's title itself. And that's a quick way for the students to search for the book. So then you take the quiz. You can choose to have a voice recorded to read the questions to the students. There's also sometimes an option to do a vocabulary quiz, but we focus mainly on the reading practice at school. Most quizzes have five to 10 questions, depending on the book's level, and it will tell you at the end how you did, your percentage, and um, let the teacher know how the students are doing with their comprehension. So this is an option for you to use if you are looking to um, have your students work on comprehension while they're at home. So try it out and let me know how it goes. Thank you.